Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me, Umber Rays, in the spooky dark. Why spooky dark? Well, because I'm, I don't know, I'm, my eyes are a little tired or, you know, and I figured yeah, it's getting late here. Anyway, uh, going to be doing my live stream recap for the more recent JP live stream. And for those of you who are expecting a ton of great stuff because we're leading up to the anniversary, the timing was seeming right. And heck, most of the live streams end with um, some kind of news. Well, I guess we're, um, I think we're three out of four. Four now? No, there's been two bad live streams and three good live streams. So I guess we're three out of two. So now we're three for three. I mean, like, three good, three bad. And that was the uh, summary of tonight. Uh, after the nothingness that was basically TGS, it was kind of hard to think that uh, the JP live streams could potentially get any worse. And um, they succeeded with... Um, so basically... Let's just go through what they talked about tonight, what they didn't talk about tonight, and uh, I guess what we have to look forward to. Um, first of all, they did take a... Um, uh, there were a bunch of live stream presents, uh, including 100 million gil. Yay, I'm so much closer to my half a billion gold that I was working towards. Um, 10 rainbow orbs, 10 uh, rainbow UR orbs, um... 1,000 armor, accessory, and sword books. Darn it on the swords. I was hoping it was going to be a different type of books, but uh, beggars can't be choosers, you know, that kind of stuff. 2,020 SR growth eggs. You see what you did there? It's not very cute, but okay. Um, 30 behemoth stakes, 300 skip tickets, uh, 3,000 lapis, um, Magic Stones, a tribute of all poles of 90, uh, various food for stone statues times 30, and 30, or sorry, 50 large stamina potions. So all of this was just very, very, um, what they were going to, you know, this is the kind of rewards that they give out for... that they were going to give out or basically just having a live stream, and that's honestly, you know, fine. I think that's totally fine to be given that out. Um, I think that that's really good. As you can see on my screen, though, there is going to be a start of a lead-up towards the anniversary. Uh, nothing really announced for events or anything, but there will be 10 days of 10 free pulls. Confirmed SSR or better, nothing really outside of that. Just basically 10 multi-days. Fine, you know, it's okay. There really isn't, you know, anything beyond that, so fine. And beginning into November, there will also be some logins, too. Um, the specialty about the logins is that, uh, well, there's going to be... They, they come in pulls, basically. The first day you get one pull, second day you get two pulls, third day you get four pulls, then six, then eight, then a full ten on the final... Uh, November the 6th, and um, what's interesting is you also get some items or something with it. Or the first day, you get three R UR orbs, then some, I think it's some limit burst pots, then a fixed guaranteed UR of some kind, then 300 gill snappers, three rainbow rocks, and last but not least, another guaranteed UR. So basically over the next little while, there's a whole bunch of login bonuses, plus a couple of guaranteed URs on the 3rd and 6th day of November. Okay, that's fine. Moving on, there will also be a comeback and new registration campaign. If 55,000 people uh, come back to or register to play the game, there will be given one whole key. The keys, for anybody who does not know, are the keys that unlock old quests. And I gotta say, one key? One? They only unlock something for like three days. Come on, man. All right, continuing on. 10,000 people will get, um, uh, will earn a whole bunch of stamina pots for people. And uh, last but not least, 30,000 will give three or one, I think it's just one UR orb. I guess they don't have much expectation of meeting these goals. Eh. Also, there will be a comeback campaign retweet also held. Uh, basically giving more UR orbs and rainbow rocks, that kind of thing, which is totally fun. There's also, because, you know, nothing screams... 
Nothing screams a uh, of anniversary like a fifth anniversary Brave Exvius campaign. Yeah, I'm not even joking. There's going to be a Brave Exvius yeah, series fifth anniversary campaign. On these days, there will be daily missions where uh, you will get summon tickets to randomly obtain pieces of Brave Exvius units every day. That means everything from Medina to Ayaka, to Rain to Laswell to Eileen to Sakura to Fina. I look forward to getting many Fina shards from this. I guess there'll be soul medals. Also, there will be a fifth anniversary challenge mission as well, where you will be able to um, receive fragments of Brave Exvius characters. So do your best to complete it. Um, okay, again, uh, this time it's just UR fragments. So fingers crossed for my Sakura shards. Everybody else can take all my other shards. Now, uh, continuing on, uh, there was also a little bit of some other news about the latest roadmap. And I have to say the roadmap information was probably um, a majorly disappointing part because while they talked about the stuff that's coming in November, they did not make mention of anything that's coming after it. So we just kind of got a recap of everything that we were going to, that we kind of knew already. So some new things to come to the game. First of all, mastery level is a function. For example, if you raise Mont, the status of other character will be strengthened. Since it is linked with related characters, it seems that it is not content to or that it is kind of content to help raise other characters too. Also, sorry, I haven't quite fixed my um, webcam yet. I haven't brought that up yet, but anyway. So yeah, uh, seems to be some kind of mastery bonus that you will be able to get um, some kind of strengthening of characters. Gonna have to wait to see the exact details on this before I get too excited. Also, guild quests will be added. Guild quests uh, to add a new stone statue and strengthen it by adding of uh, improving the statue. Uh, so new guild statue, yay. Again, wanna see kind of what this ends up doing. How this benefits the players but for now it's just kind of a okay it's being added next up you can now get unit fragments from in the barracks this is probably the one of the most important pieces of details of the night was the fact that now you can get um just character fragments and i do believe you can also get limited time character fragments but i think it's only for set periods for limited time characters again We'll have to wait to see, but probably the best thing from the new stream. So other than that, um, a lot of this live stream was basically nothing. This live stream was um, even more kind of pathetic than um, the, uh, the TGS live stream, which was already particularly pretty bad. Because the Wood of live stream on at TGS at least showed us the new character. There were no new characters shown off tonight, no new vision cards, no announcements of collaborations, no basically anything. There was some free stuff given out, but honestly, for a three hour live stream, there was a shocking amount of nothing. What they did spend a ton of time on was the first Leonis Goodwill Ambassador Selection audition. An audition of four different Japanese YouTubers slash potential streamers who are buying for being some kind of official streamer. Honestly, it's pretty uninteresting and the campaign tonight was pretty uninteresting too. Uh, really not much to talk about here. The, somebody's going to end up a popular character at some point. And other than that, there was talk of the art book, which while I am interested in the art book, not at the price you quoted me. I'll wait for a sale because 3,000 yen, eh, can probably, it will probably go on sale at some point in the future when, you know, they got to clear out. Anyway, the live stream tonight was basically mostly nothing. There was almost uh, no point in watching it. Although I do want to thank all of the, um, all of the people who came out to Twitch chat to end up watching it with me, because you know what? I've always said the community is something that I enjoy way more <laughs> than um, the live streams and to some extent the game recently. But either way, uh, there are still things I really enjoy about this game and the community is definitely one of them. So a big shout out to everyone who slogged through that with me. Um, definitely you guys made it much more bearable and playing Bloodborne at the end 
was pretty fun too. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the only other thing to note, we did hear that there will be another live stream in the future. The next live stream, I do believe, is November 8th after the anniversary stream. So hopefully, <laughs> I guess we're just going to play this game again. And um, to end this video, here's the joke. Much like all the content in this game, it requires more development time for the announcements too. I don't know. There was some joke about live streams and delays and whatever. Anyway, the real winners are the ones who didn't completely have to watch this. I guess we'll tune in on November 8th because we never learn our lesson here, or at least I never learn my lesson here. So, hey, at least I don't have to do another series of videos leading up to that one. We can just watch it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching from me and the spooky Tom Mary. Take care, see you next time, and stay healthy.